and welcome back to my episode 64 possessive case I thought at the last episode I thought we will talk about possessive case possessive case singular first person my mine our ours second person singular your yours plural your yours third person his hers hers his her hers its for a singular plural their theirs some personal pronouns in the possessive case take the place of possessive nouns used as adjectives remember the possessive pronouns used as an adjectives are my your his her our their and it some personal pronouns in the possessive case take the place of a possessive nouns and do not describe nouns. Remember, the possessive pronouns which do not describe the nouns are mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, and theirs. But the Bible used some archaic form of pronoun you. Singular plural, thou, ye. Objective case. The you possess the cape. Thy, thine, your, yours. The, okay, now let's talk about incident. The incident of a pronoun is the group word or group of words for which the pronoun stands. A pronoun usually needs an incident so that it means it's clear. The incident tells us who, whose, or what about the pronoun. If there is no incident for the pronoun, it may be necessary to rewrite the sentence. Let's learn about equity right now. A conversation with the learners. Mr. Willing is discussing with Mr. and Mrs. Learner the trip that he, Mrs. Willing, and Miss Willie will be taking to Snow Ridge Valley. As you will remember, the learners were the first one saved after the Willings came to Port Cities. As the conversation continues, Mr. Learning speaks with great concern in his voice. But Brother Willing, why you must go to a distant and dangerous place? There is still so much work to be done here. I know that explains Mr. Willing patiently, but the people in Snow Ridge Valley have never heard of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is not equitable for someone to some to hear the plan of salvation many times when there is so much men who had never heard it once. That is true, Mr. Learning said compassionately. The soul you have won in this in this port can continue to be witnesses here. Besides, you will only be gone for a few weeks. Mrs. Lerner nods her head, agreeing that is, this is true. We will pray for you and your family as you go. You were equitable when you brought the gospel story to us. We cannot be selfish and keep you from going where God directs God directs you. Mr. William Luke, please. Mr. Lerner, you can still live up to your name. You are learning quickly and growing spiritually. How I praise God for you and your prayers. Integrate, interrogative pronouns. Who, whom, whose, who, who, which. What are often interrogative pronouns used to ask questions? The job of an interrogative pronoun in can change when place before nouns. There do the work of adjective like where is the Bible? What is the book? Whose book is this? Demonstrative pronouns. These, that, these, those. Often demonstrative pronouns used to point out. The job of a demonstrative pronoun can change when placed before they do the work of adjectives. Those that who, whom, which, whose that are relative pronouns. Relative pronouns are related to or other pronoun in the same sentence. Which, who, whom, whose, yeah, something like that. Reflexive pronoun myself yourself himself herself indefinite pronoun indefinite pronoun do not define or stand for any particular person or things Yes, and we finished talking about what I learned in my English based and I hope you enjoy and Then yeah, and I'm so happy to finish my episode 64 with my English. Thank you everybody and I love you